<laughs> what is what are these, what are these things where you hope you hope the interview goes as well as the conversation? Right. It's so fun. Wendy Liebman is with us. She spent her uh, life doing comedy. She almost went the distance a couple of years ago on America's Got Talent. Here she is in action. Since I've been back in New York, I went to my class reunion uh, from kindergarten. Um, I didn't want to go because since kindergarten, I've put on like a hundred pounds. I also got to see my grandmother since I've been home. She's such a wise woman. She said to me that the secret to a successful marriage is don't go to sleep angry. And she's been awake since 1946. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. It's just great material. Thank I love you. it, Wendy. All right, so here you are. You grew up in Long Island. You go to Wellesley. Now, that's pretty good school, right? I refer to it as IOU. <laughs> okay. And, and from there become uh, presidential candidates. And why comedy? Um, I was born to be a comedian, I guess. I used to do a lot of musical theater when I was younger, uh -huh. and uh, then it just morphed into comedy. I took a class on how to be a stand-up comedian. I was going to be a psychologist, yes. but this is what I ended up you were doing. You are going to be a psychologist? So I was. So was I. Really? Really? Well, we're sitting on a couch, yeah. so. Let's, I need a little help. We, got so let's go. we need two of us to live. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Um, so where did that come around? As a kid, you just had this funny little thing. You, My yeah. sister and I used to put on plays and such. And um, yeah, I just developed a sense of humor. And then I moved out to LA. And I started this room in Studio City at a restaurant called Vitello's. And I thought, what a great space to have comedy. There is nothing like it in the Valley. And I've had everybody on my show from George Lopez to John Mulaney to Tig Notaro to Eliza Schlesinger last month. And uh, funny. Yeah, I'm yeah. having Kevin Nealon and Russell Peters are coming Who's up. Who's tonight? Well, tonight it's just me and Carol Liefer. It's a special what do you mean, show. What do you mean just me? And well, Carol? no, I usually have like eight comics oh, okay. on, and yeah. so and I host and uh, th those shows. Those are once a month. Uh -huh. But tonight it's just Carol Liefer and myself, and it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, we got some pictures and things to show up, so let, let's uh, put them up and we will react to them. Thank you so much, Howard Stern, for bringing me back to New York. And All right, this, this is when you. Show? You, you did America's Got Talent. This was really your comeback, was it not? Well, I had taken some time off because I started raising my husband's children. And uh, I walk a very fine line with my stepsons between trying to be friends with them and asking them for money. And uh, so... It's, I mean, really. Hubby's here. Congratulations. My husband is here. 14 years. I oh, know. We've been married yeah. 14 years today. Okay. I can't even believe... I got married late in life. I yeah. thought I was going to be an old maid, but now I'm married, so now I'm a maid. <laughs> um, but you know what? My husband uh, is, he's like, he picked me up from LAX. Uh -huh. He emptied the dishwasher, and then he made me dinner. And I think I better friend him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder what's hey, going hey, on, hey. right? Yeah. I got a great moment in your career. Yeah. Take a look at this here. My next guest, this young lady, was a finalist in the Johnny Walker National Comedy Search at the Improvisation Clubs uh, throughout the country. This is her very first appearance on network television. Would you welcome, please, Wendy Liebman. Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? What oh. year is that, Wendy? What year that is that? May 10th, 1991. You uh, never forget when you're on Johnny Walker, right? Sure, right? Sure. I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just tell you the funny thing? I yes. never wear, I usually wear black, uh -huh. all black. My mom goes, why do you dress like a mime? <laughs> and I'm like, but, um, but I said, I'm going on the show today. I am going to wear uh -huh. pink and uh -huh. I wore pink. And, uh, well, good for you. <laughs> Aren't you glad you made the Carson moment? You know, that you made it before it was all over for John. The whole experience was like a hol like looking at him, it was like he was a holograph uh -huh. because I had watched him on TV for years. I used to watch like Phyllis Diller do stand up, and I would get so nervous until she got her first laugh. And then I would be like, ah. Yeah. Oh. So I was empathizing at that age. Um, but yeah, being on Johnny Carson, I, I'm still going to faint right now right. thinking about it. All right, tonight, uh, <laughs> Vitello's performing with Carol Lee for our good friend at uh, Vitello's in Studio City. The show starts uh, at 8 o'clock.
tonight. Okay. Best Go thing you could do yeah. is smile and laugh, and, yeah. and you did that. We need a you lot know, of laughing know, right now. Right? <laughs> if right. I stayed up late enough, I would. I'd love to. You check out our show. I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. it's just terrific. But uh, eight o'clock is. That's your bedtime. Yeah. Right? I keep trying to make it mine. Not well, happening. I do shows there every month, so please check them out at least once. You can come. Okay. Okay. <laughs>